Hey Capricorns, welcome to your October reading. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings so please check out the description box because in the description box you'll find information about what decks of cards I'm using, how to contact me, what sign I am. Anything you know I get asked, I'll put it in the description box. If a song comes up, I'll put it in the description box, okay guys? So let's see october capricorns let's see what's going on what's going on we have the akashic field and this is about having access to all the knowledge that you know um in the world in the universe okay so this is higher learning for you guys so really um up in your spiritual game here i feel like in october we do have like you know um October 31st and things where the veil will be thinner so maybe you know um, you are just really picking up this psychic energy here um, learning to communicate telepathically um, and things like that but really searching for information and clarity here okay guys that's what um, that card means the Akashic field um, so that's card number one, the forces. So yeah, really looking into your spiritual growth, your spiritual knowledge there um, during October, you may find that you just get lost in learning. Four of forces, spring and autumn. Yeah, so look at that. Um, I, do, I definitely feel like this card's about perspective because look, if it had come this way up, or this way up um, we are moving into autumn so it's about new beginnings here I feel for you the right way up um, starting things anew um, and like I said all that new information coming in for you guys so you may get information coming in and being clarified for you okay like perspective um, hindsight really looking at ah okay now I understand certain things and just feeling fresh, renewed, rejuvenated here. Okay, Capricorn. So that's good. Feeling good. Feeling like a spring chicken. <laughs> so yeah, that's good. You're going to be feeling good in October and getting a lot of information there as well. So we have Archangel Gabriel. Okay, so your angels are supporting you here. This is card three, a very um, significant number in um, spirituality and religion as well. You know, we have the Holy Trinity. Um, so I just really do feel like it's more of a focus and more support from your guides here, but a focus and dedication to your um, learning, your growth here, and you really starting to feel fresh from it. You know, you're really starting to feel like, yeah, I'm starting to feel good now. You know, like when it's springtime and there's flowers coming up and it's sunny, but we got that little bit of a chill in the air. I feel like you're really starting to see seeds that you planted growing here, okay? So you're going to see the growth and the payoff. Um, you're going to be really supported at this time, okay, guys? So let's see. October for Capricorns here. Ooh, the Five of Cups. So, if you are focusing on what you're lost, I mean, I just did a video on um, friends and losing people out of your life with this spiritual growth. So, you could find that people are exiting your life. Don't focus on the negativity of this, focus on the positive. There's always two cups standing here. So, there are like minded people out there in the world for you. So, don't focus on loss of people um don't let it drag you down it can be upsetting here um i will not take away from the five of cups it can be upsetting for you um so here you know it can be that people are icing you out being quite cold with you um you know friends turning their backs on you and things um even romantic connections turning their back and being cold with you um, because I'm really focused on um, the cold in this picture, the snow, the river looking icy. Um, so I do believe like you are getting movement and you're also like maybe being frozen out of people's life here. So we can see the river still has movement. 
So let's see here. Nine of Wands. There you go. That's that block. That's that freezing out. And please do check out that video I've just posted called No Friends um, because you'll find this happens. The more you grow, you may be feeling like, well, I've done the work. I'm growing. I'm, you know, elevating. I'm ascending here. So why are people still blocking me out of their life? This could be you blocking people out of your life, people who are no longer serving you, okay? protecting the fruits of your labor, the hard work you have done so far, okay? So standing your ground, protecting your soul, your innocence here, and really, you know, look at look how strong he is in this card. You know, so I definitely feel you're much stronger now, okay? But it's like, look, I have to keep out what's not serving me. Any friends have cut me off. This is how it's going to have to be because... I'm finding my strength and maybe people don't like that. So they could be blocking me here. And like I said, it can be a little bit upsetting, but, um, you know, let it flow with that river there. Um, if people are blocking you out, they may come back, they may not, but it allows space for new genuine people in your life here. So, yeah, it's like this clearing out, you know, um, that you're doing here. Um and not allowing people in to walk all over you anymore. And like I said, it can be quite sad at times because, you know, some people have been in your life for so long and then you find they're no longer there. So it can be quite lonely while going through this spiritual journey. You know, you're getting that growth and you're seeing the growth, but then also what comes along with that is a loss of people from your life. The moon, yeah. So, you know, you'll definitely have time to reflect. Um, you'll definitely um, be finding out people's true colours here, I feel like. I don't feel like it's a secret, but I feel like things are coming to the light here. You know, you're really seeing people for what they are. They may not like it, so they may try block you rather than face you here. Um, but it's really a time of reflection. Well, did they really do as much for me? Was they really a great partner or was they really a great friend? That's what I see you doing. Okay, so yeah, Four of Wands, King of Pentacles. It's definitely you guys with this new beginnings, building new foundations. And along with that, you'll make new connections and new friendships, okay? Um, so... Please don't worry, the four of wands there, um, it definitely is about um, starting anew, like the spring card. It's definitely like starting anew here and um, embracing new changes. And the king of pentacles, it's about self-care here, you know, really nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. And to be honest, people may not like that, but... It's sometimes it's got to be done and that's why they may exit because they don't like that. The Seven of Swords, yeah. You can find that they'll sneak off in the middle of the night. They're lying to you. They're deceiving you. And because you're, you know, holding them accountable saying, hold up, you're lying to me. They may just be like, okay, well, block because they can't face the truth here, like they can't face this exposure. And I mean, it's not a good thing, but it is a good thing. It can be quite upsetting with the five of cups here when people are lying to you and these secrets come out. It's like showing their true colours and you're standing there like, but are you really worth my time anymore? If I'm offering a pentacle... And you are just trying to steal my energy from me? Now, come on. You know, I'm trying to start something new. I'm trying to start something new here and you're trying to bring that old stuff with you. So it could be like a clear out of people in your life because, you know, their lies are exposed. If you're watching for a Capricorn, it's like their lies will be exposed, okay? And this is probably why they're hiding from you here. They can't face you, whoever it is, because these lies came out, you know? 
you could have had a foundation with this person already with the four of wands and you was quite generous here with the king of pentacles giving you know and look how you ended up in return this five of cups you ended up sad because you know you was giving and giving and giving and they was taking and taking and taking so what's going on in your life is the divine has revealed this to you with the moon boom even though it's in the dark they're trying to run away the moon is the light in the dark it's like exposing them here so yeah they may have run away and blocked you because they just can't face you here they really can't they're trying to keep their shady behavior in the dark the moon is not going to allow for that okay Ooh. the tower there you go you are maybe ending friendships connections who are not serving you anymore and just making you know your space like very cleansed for yourself for your well-being here you're taking care of yourself people don't like that so they seem to be freezing you out of their life or blocking it you know when you call them on their crap and you're like you're lying to me i can see it it's like boom they don't like it they don't like it at all so here you've caught somebody lying and cheating and i feel like this is going to go on through october you're going to be cleansing you know your relationships around you this is um friendships we're in libra season in the beginning and that's about us okay so when it's about us about connections with people relationships with people here i see like you clearing out relationships that are no longer good for you here you're no longer going to pretend i don't know you're lying and like i said this could be a capricorn lying to you okay but it's like no longer accepting people in your life who are lying you're just clearing them out here during october so yeah it's a real focus at the beginning of october libra season on relationships and it definitely feels like you're calling people out holding them accountable for their actions they'll either run off and block you and not even face you here or you know you may have an argument boom a tower moment but you are just cleansing you know your life of people who are lying to you no longer serving you your best interest people that are dragging you down making you feel sad you're just blocking out that energy and you're getting strength from it here it's self-care the lovers yeah that's all about healing okay so you're going through this healing and this self-care you know you've done this reflection so now here it could even be um, a romantic partner that's done this to you being caught out lying cheating and then just run and hid um you know <laughs> look at this tower it's like all hell breaking loose everybody's falling out of the tower here so you know they could have been like playing this happy home but really just lying and hiding things from you and the moon's come he in here to expose it you know and your guard needs to be up during october don't allow these people in this is a time for you to get some good healing and also clearing out people out of your life here that are lying to you you know they'll stand out like i don't know like an elephant in the room the high priestess as well this is what i was talking about they will stand out to you because you've been doing this healing okay um because you've been doing this divine work you will be able to sense this liar a mile off okay this is the high priestess you will just know you'll sense them you'll be like i am not feeling this energy because now you've raised your vibration this energy doesn't match with yours anymore you know you're just like i'm a high priestess i'm not feeling this energy that 
you know, when you're trying to lie to me, I'm trying to start off new here. I'm really trying to focus on healing and, you know, and this is what I mean about having access when we talked about um, the Akashic Field card. This is, again, the High Priestess having that access to that higher knowledge and tuning into your intuition here and just smelling a liar a mile away. And this doesn't have to be a love connection. This can be in your friendships. This can be in your family. All kinds of connections here. It's just like, yeah, you call them out. They don't like it, okay? They're not going to like it. So you may see connections breaking here during October. High Priestess. Uh, sorry, the Hierophant there. We've had the High Priestess. Boom. This is divine support for you. Divine guidance like... Nope, you're not going to be able to tell this person lies. Their intuition is on point because they they are healing here. They're doing the self-love, the self-care. You know, you're not going to come in with this rubbish because they'll sense it. And they're not looking to go back down to this sadness. Look at how much strength he has here. It's nine of wands. It's protecting how strong you've come. A lot of people don't realize the nine of wands is a warrior, okay, is a fighter. It's like you're a fighter, you're a survivor here. And not only did you survive, you picked up things after this tower moment, okay? So during October, I do feel like you're going to have these tower moments, these breakdowns in connections here, because you're trying to start anew. And when people try this shady stuff, it ain't working anymore because you... You, my friend, are supported, divinely supported, so you have access to that knowledge, okay? You have that access, trust me. You're divinely protected here, divinely guided, like, uh-uh, I see that red flag, I'm not going to wait a year before I call you out on that red flag, I'm calling people out now, today. It's not working anymore. That's what you guys will be doing in October, not accepting any crap. <laughs> 